My name is Taryn, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you Alluvium Land. If you've been a longtime fan or supporter of the Project Alluvium, or just recently discovered the project, you've probably heard of this asset that's coming called Land, an NFT that will be sold on the Alluvidex, but minted on Immutable X to save gas fees. Now, with an official first land sale date of June 2nd, I'm sure you're looking for credible and complete information regarding this first major event in the history of the Project Alluvium. Should you consider buying this digital asset called Alluvium Land? Will you regret not using this first buying opportunity to purchase Alluvium Land before this new AAA game and its project explode? I'm not here to give you investment advice or tell you this project is going to the moon, but we can dive into exactly what Alluvium land ownership will look like, how to play the game, and talk about the immediate use cases currently built into it. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button and like this video, if I can get 500 likes, I'll make a land as a business video as an episode two to this one next week. What is Alluvium Zero? Alluvium land is an NFT for the companion game Alluvium Zero. This purchased land allows players to build and upgrade their base of operations and produce various resources. These resources known as Hydrogen, Carbon, Silicon, Hyperion, Solon, and Krypton allow players to upgrade and expand their base by constructing new buildings. Three of these resources, Hydrogen, Carbon, and Silicon, are used mainly for the construction and upgrades within your Alluvium Zero game, while Solon, Hyperion, and Krypton are all fuel types that have additional benefits that tie in to the main game of Alluvium. Solon is produced through the construction and upkeep of your Solon Trench and is used in forging equipment for your Ranger in Alluvium. Hyperion is produced through the construction and upkeep of your Hyperion Reservoir and is used in crafting shards required to capture alluvials in combat. Finally, Krypton is produced through the construction and upkeep of your Krypton Rift and is used to travel into the many zones that you can adventure and capture your alluvials by means of the obelisk in Sancta Mesa. The Alluvium Zero game itself is a city builder that's played much like Clash of Clans, or Game of War, and Forge of Empires. You'll start off with just a building or two, and a drone as a worker to begin your journey towards advancing your compound to higher tiers of buildings capable of producing more fuel and resources to continue to grow and earn you more. In order to reap the income from your produced fuel, you'll be given a building that's tied to the marketplace and the liquidity pool of Alluvium, where you'll earn the ability to sell your fuel directly to the liquidity pool for Ethereum. Another useful building is the Singularity Scanner. This useful building will be the only way to research and find random alluvial skins found by scanning stray alluvials venturing too close to your plot of land. These skins can be researched, created, and released to the public via the marketplace. This means that this NFT land will be the first of its kind that you can purchase in the metaverse space that allows you to earn passively from day one. You are not required to invite players to your land, host events on your land, or build a business on your land in order to earn an income. You simply play Alluvium Zero. Build your compound up and sell the fuel that you produce which can all be done at your own pace. Or by spending a little money in order to advance the building times or research times needed in order to advance your compound and have it producing more fuel faster. In order to purchase your land, you'll need to participate in a three-day Dutch auction that will take place on June 2nd. A total of 100,000 lands will be sold in Alluvium. However, only 20,000 will be sold during each land sale meaning a total of five land sales will occur, though we do not know the time frame when the next land sales could take place.
In each of the five land sales, we're told that each land is not equal in value, and the value of its starting price is relative to the tier of land that it is. There are tiers 1 through 5 lands. Tier 1 lands will have 3 element sites, 1 fuel site, 0 landmarks, and 0 production boosts. Tier 2 lands will have 6 element sites, 3 fuel sites, 0 landmarks, but 33.33% production boosts. Tier 3 lands will have 9 element sites, 6 fuel sites, one element landmark, and 100% production boosts. Tier 4 lands will have 12 element sites, 9 fuel sites, one fuel landmark, and 300% production boosts. Finally, Tier 5 lands will include 15 element sites, 12 fuel sites, one arena, and 900% production boosts. Each of the lands will have a slight variance to the other lands of the same tier. The layout of the elements and fuel sites, as well as the flora and fauna of your particular land, may be different from the other lands. The other unique quality that each land will determine will be the region it's based on. Alluvium has a total of seven unique regions that each land may uniquely be a part of. This region will affect not only the look and feel of your land and its aesthetics, but also determine the probability of researching and scanning for special alluvial skins that could prove profitable in the Alluvidex. Your Alluvium Landmark on your Alluvium land is a kind of bonus given to the higher tier plot of lands. Tier 3 Element Landmarks will effectively boost the production of a specific element type beyond its normal production capabilities. Tier 4 landmarks are based on the types of fuel in the game and function the same as the element landmarks, giving a production boost to one of the three types of fuel beyond the normal capabilities of your land. Tier 5, however, does not have a landmark but are given a new bonus called an arena. These locations will be visible by players and can host in-game competitions between guilds or big esports events for years to come. Each arena land owner may earn revenue from the advertising generated by these events. Every hour during this three-day event, there will be batches of 278 lands sold. Each batch sale lasts two hours, or until a price has been reached by the public. Every minute of the auction, the prices of each land plot decrease in value by 2.5% every minute, until its lowest value is reached by the end of the two hours, which would be 4.79%. If nobody has stepped up to claim this land at its lowest point, this land will be locked away and will remain unclaimed. The number of lands per tier being sold in each land sale will be 12,029 tier 1 lands, 5,012 tier 2 lands, 2,088 tier 3 lands, 869 tier 4 lands, and two tier 5 land plots. So what prices will these lands start at? In the auction, tier 1 lands will start at a price of 2 ETH. Tier 2 lands will start at 6 Ethereum. Tier 3 lands will start at 20 Ethereum. Tier 4 lands will start at 80 Ethereum. And tier 5 lands will be held in a live English auction format for everyone to tune into, watch, or bid. In order to participate in the auction, you'll need to either own Ethereum or SILV2 to purchase your Alluvium land. You can purchase SILV2 currently on the unofficial Uniswap pool through the generosity of Alluvium Whales. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and comment to the video below. 
I just want to remind you guys that Terran lives do matter, so your opinion matters here. Please leave a comment below, tell me how I did, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.